I've come to COP, one, as a smallholder farmer. I carry with me the dreams and voices of the smallholder farmers in Kenya, and I'm here to amplify those dreams. We have issues around um, total crop failure in our fields because of um, the long dry spells that then get interchanged with very heavy uh, rainfall. The changing climate today is a global responsibility that requires all players to work together towards sorting it out. If we really want to reduce greenhouse gas emission, then we have to talk about sustainable way of producing our food, of transporting our food and of consuming our food. It's very important for us to listen to nature. All the things in the ecosystem have a role to play. A third of the climate mitigation, or 11 gigatons of carbon dioxide equivalent per year, could be delivered through changes in land stewardship practices. And if you look at food systems in particular, it's really important there because it can deliver that mitigation while allowing us to maintain the food production we need to survive. There's some positive and negative about um, the negotiations at COP from our perspective. The one thing that is really good is to hear that, that there's a lot of talk about food. Um, the part that is concerning to us as farmers is that we don't see farmers um, even in the draft documents. So we, we, we agree that food and agriculture and the food system is key. But you cannot say food, agriculture and the food system and then not say farmer. If the word farmer is in the final document, that would mean that farmers are recognized as a key stakeholder and a very important part of the solution. If you give farmers the opportunity um, I think the world will be astonished at what we will achieve to bring harmony between nature and culture and to make sure that people have got enough to eat.